What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y. Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Earlier this week, I went and saw a sneak peek of Venom, Let There Be Carnage, starring, you know, Tom Hardy and Woody Harrelson, and I have a little movie review for you, but first let me tell you a bit about what the movie's about. So after finding a host body in investigator Eddie Brock, who's played by Tom Hardy, the symbiote has now has a new enemy to face, Carnage, who has taken the body of serial killer Cletus Cassidy, who is also played by Woody Harrelson. First, I will say, if you enjoyed the first Venom movie that came out a few years ago, you will love this one. You will love it. It just takes that that humor and funniness from the first one, you know, where Venom and Eddie Brock trying to share the same body and, and them going back and forth and their banter between each other is hilarious. And it takes that, you know, from the first movie and just builds off of that. I mean, there's so many funny moments in this movie. I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing out loud at just so many moments. It had me like in stitches. And that's kind of like what I love about these Spider-Man, you know, comic book series of Venom and everything is the humor in it. So it really picks up on that in this movie. Now, if you thought Venom looked awesome from the first movie, I mean, they bring him back and, and Venom just looks amazing. But let me tell you, Carnage! Carnage in this one ain't playing around. You know, the red alien guy. He just looks amazing. I mean, he's supposed to be even more powerful than the Venom. And you he brings, I, he's just, it's big and, and just, you know, exaggerated and, and just more, you know, badass you know, than even Venom. It makes you kind of even root for Carnage. Like, I wish Carnage wasn't so bad because he's kind of, kind of a good guy, you know, like kind of a powerful, overpowered kind of villain. But yeah, it just, it, it he just looks amazing. And I thought the CGI was done right. Talking to see GI, some of the best moments are when him, uh, you know, Venom and Carnage going head to head. I mean, you have your, your fun moments with just Venom and, and being in Eddie Brock's body. And then you have Carnage and, and what he does with, uh, you know, being in Cletus Cassidy's body and, and those, but the fight scenes when those two come to head to head, I mean, that was at the end of the movie. And it was, I was just, my eyes glued to the screen. If you want to see action fights, you're going to get it in this one and you're going to be amazing. And of course, we all love Tom uh, Hardy from the first one playing Eddie Brock. I think he did it great in the first Venom and he brings it back in this one. And now I don't see anyone else that could play Eddie Brock but him. But let me tell you what stood out for me was Woody Harrelson. Doesn't everything Woody Harrelson do is amazing. I mean, I can't think of something where I was just like, oh, Woody Harrelson was terrible in that. Well, this, he just, as a villain, Woody just, I I want him to play a villain all the time, is what I'm saying. I mean, he brings out that, that carnage, you know? He really brings out the crazy serial killer. It kind of reminded me of Natural Born Killers when he was in that. You know, he had that craziness, that psychoness, and he brought that to this one in. And it gave me that natural born killer feel. Remember that? How great he was in that? It gave me that. And which is kind of funny because he even has like a little sidekick serial killer, female, you know, love interest in this, which kind of like, I'm like, it kind of parallels to natural born killers in a way. We have Shrek, who is played by Naomi Harris. And she is a brand new character into the, into the universe here. But, oh, did she just steal my heart right away. She did. I mean, from even her story and to give a little bit of her origin, uh, a little bit of past of her and, and Cletus's relationship. But, you know, she just really brought it. Not only bringing out the villain side and, and just craziness. You're like, that girl's crazy. But also a little bit of heart. Her, her caring for, you know, her love and caring for Cletus and, and things that they've been through and even having a little bit of, uh, you know, of sympathy for, her, or maybe even a little bit empathy. You really connect, I really connected with her. Maybe because I am a little bit crazy and we have that in common, who knows? My biggest issue with it is probably a little bit of the corniness and cheesiness. Yeah, they have some lines in there. You're just like, all right, that's a little corny. But I mean, that's also expected in, in these kind of comic book 
movies that's based off the comic books because you get that kind of feel from the comic when you read it at times at the corny lines and things like that. But overall, I enjoyed it. I really liked now it. Now let's take a look at what parents need to know before allowing their kids to watch Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Well, this is rated PG-13, and you're going to have some language. You're going to have, I remember one F word, but you're also going to get a son of a B word. You get the word, the A word, and do you get the S word? I think there's a couple of S words and some dams and GDs and things like that. But overall, the, the language wasn't terrible. You know, I could have done without that F word. <laughs> I could have done without that. I was like, when I heard that, I was like, why didn't they just leave that out? It was said one time and you really didn't even need it. As far as like sex and nudity, they had some making out kissing scenes and stuff and not much nudity. I mean, the most nudity you see is maybe in some drawings of uh, females that there's one drawing of a female in the tub, but that's about why it. Got, why it got its big rating, PG-13, is definitely for the violence and the gore. I mean, these are alien monsters fighting, killing people, so you're going to get bloody scenes, you're going to get plenty of death scenes and gory scenes and, and you know, plenty of murder, <laughs> plenty of murder in this. So that's really where this uh, rating, this PG-13 rating is looking at is definitely the violence and gore in this. I mean, overall, it's kind of what you expect. It is, you know, going to have its scare and fright, you know, because this is a, a, a villain, an alien villain, a, a alien villain that eats brains. So, of course, you're going to get that kind of violence. But overall, I really loved it. Like I said, if you enjoyed the first one, you're going to love this one. But people who didn't like the first one, don't expect to come in this one and like it. If you didn't like the first one, you were not going to like this one. And I don't know why you wouldn't like it. Because I did. So if you've seen it already, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all.